Hey, hey, hey. Let's get the right um, monitor up on here. Um, I want to put that. Right. Overhead wipe cam. Um, okay, so this right monitor. Just gonna move this thing real quick. Oops, oops. Okay, don't need. Don't need the little camera. Um. It's the right monitor that I'm worried about. So I'm just going to want a little part of this that's going to be the uh, tuner. Let's get this real quick. I could just capture a window. Now, why don't I do that? I've never done this before. Let's see how this works. Um, may not be able to. I'm going to do retune. So I have a feeling we're going to be looking at that. And can I just do a window? So let's see. I'm going to turn off the right monitor. And display capture, game capture image, media source, video capture, window capture. Call it retune. And let's see. So I'm not sure that I can actually do that. It's it's just gonna show Reaper, it's not gonna show the plugin. Okay, so get rid of that. Um Yeah, I'll just have to use the right monitor. Okay, that's okay. See if I remember how to do this. There's one where you like hold alt and it crops to it. Oh, I don't know who I just did. Crap. That was a full screen one. Oh man. Can full screen. Okay, I don't need that. Um right monitor. Uh, it just sucks how it just went and grabbed something else. This thing about OBS is a bit weird. Okay. And I'll have to reset this later. So that'll be the um, tuner. I'll just stick it up here. Okay, so first of all, actually, I could probably just make that smaller. I don't know how well that'll show on the thing. It's showing horrible here, but it's okay. This will do for now. Um... So I went and got one of these things that, um, you can see this, one of those T-handle things. Uh, I need one for my bike too, but it's such a pain not having these for guitar. And I probably don't have a big enough one for a jack, but, uh, I'll deal with that later. Uh, what did I want to do? Make sure. And how is... Something as your army 2930. This keeps turning off. How does this keep turning off? Is this controlled by something? I'm not turning this off, and that's really scaring me. Oh, that just did it. It just turned off. Okay, who turned it off? Okay, sorry. I'm uh, I'm kind of geeking out on the. Uh... No. Oh. Yeah, when I switch the small cam back on. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I had a, um <sighs> Stream Deck, Stream Deck. Okay. So it's this guy right here. Um big webcam. Oh, yeah, I don't want this. Definitely don't want to turn RME 29 and 30 on and off. There it is again.
It's all messed up. <laughs> all right. All right. Wow, that's all screwy. And somehow, oh no, there's there's the tuners back. Okay. Okay. So back to business. All right. Turn off this AC. So this T-handle thing's got, um, let's just open it up. Oh, and I saw over at radio, uh, you know, now that there's no Radio Shack, you know, where do you get all your regular electronic junk? Not that Radio Shack had everything, but they had some things that were important. Uh, turns out Napa has a multimeter that's probably okay for 25 bucks. Okay, so the biggest thing here is a half inch on a eighth inch drive. Um, I might just go get more, uh, boy, this is a really crappy holder. I might throw this in one of my guitar workshop things. Um, there's no Allen wrenches on here. That's kind of weird. There's a little square weirdo things, but, um, I do, I could just go get another thing with, uh, you know, some, some torques and Allen wrenches and stuff. And these T handles are really handy. This one looks like you can stash, um, Stash some stuff inside. Might stash some Allen wrenches in there. So first of all, I guess let's look at what's what's up with this guitar. Um, while I'm at this, let me uh, I'm export my bundle. July 1st already, wow, okay. No matter how much I clean, this is always just too much of a mess. I can never get these cables to stay separate. This is just such a cluster. Okay, and then this, who are you? You can just go away. I don't need you. Helix 4. Oh, you know, I'm not doing as much as I used to. I'm just, I am so tired nowadays. I'm just like, absolutely exhausted at all times. Hopefully, hopefully it's a health thing that can, can be fixed pretty, pretty soon here. But I tell you, I'm worn out. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the jack's loose for one thing. Um, I'm gonna turn on the input for that 20, 25, I think. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's out of tune, no surprise there. Um, and I've blocked this tremolo, I think, so that's good. Well, let's just see what's wrong. Because everything seems working, it's just out of tune. Let me get, um, get some Allen wrenches. Yeah, see, this thing really should have the Allen wrenches you need for the lock nut at least. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, I wish I could zoom this out a little bit more. So I'm just uh, just taking the lock nuts down. I'm going to tune this in a second. Ooh, and somebody put these Monopoly houses on sideways. Yeah, let me pull these off and I'll show you. Not the easiest thing to see right now because right where I put the tuner, but... Oops. So these uh these locks, oh wow, and they are jammed in there somehow. Wow. That's not coming out. That's not good. Gonna hammer it with something soft. But man, they are in there. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, so they don't go sideways. They're supposed to go so that the um, the house curve thing uh, follows the string, if you can tell what that means. Man, it's hard to see. I, I, I'm hoping to get some better overhead cameras for this. Let me see if I can make this auto zoom. I, I know I'd turn that off. Maybe I can make this a little bit better for you. What is that? That's uh, big room webcam. That's what I'm calling it right now. Okay, configure video. So it should have um, let's see, that just had an automatic. I wonder if that'll help. Maybe we'll see. Anyway, so these Monopoly houses are supposed to be going this way along the string, not this way. God, I'm sorry, this is so hard to see. Okay, so I'm going to put these screws back in and watch all the strings are going to break on me while I'm doing this So I'm expecting there's going to be some, like, dusty switches or something. Yeah, that's close enough for the fine tuners. And this tremolo is not, not floating, so I'm just going to lock it back up. And check the knobs and pots and see if they're loose. They're a little bit loose. Uh, am I going to be able to get a screwdriver in there? Let's see. Let's make some use of this new tool here. I need one of those knurled. Yeah, these aren't going to be deep enough. It's like these special tools. I think they make them on Stu Mac on Amazon or something. They're like... um. They're like T-handles like this, but they're just specifically for uh, pots and jacks. Um, let me show you. They're for like these. Oops. They're for like these nuts right here. And for the jack. Well, we'll look. We'll look up in a second if I can remember. Just can't see anymore. Can't, uh, man, old age is, is getting me fast. Like, it, it's just it's coming on so quickly. I'll see if this helps any. I don't really feel like cleaning this guitar up. So the output jack is a little bit wiggly loose, too. Okay, so these guys... I don't know if they're actually loose. I don't think they are. I, I can turn it with my fingers. So that's probably not good. But this these sockets aren't going to be deep enough for this job. Or maybe they are. And I'm afraid the, the pot itself is going to spin under there. Maybe that would be bad. Let's see how this works. This takes a... That's kind of cool. So normally I'd want to hold on to the shaft at the top and put a put a wrench on here as a 7 16 yeah 11 millimeters or so hold on to the top while you're turning this so that you don't spin the wires then this um the output jack here yeah 
Yeah, it needs like a rotisserie for um the way like you kind of have on the bike. Yeah. Old muscle car work stand. Spin the guitar around. I guess I just need to add some space in here. Never enough space. So this jack is like a plastic jack. Looks like it's cracked on one spot. So this is going to be pleasant. I bought some super glue. Not sure it's going to work in this case. Maybe. Think about it for a second. See this, these solder joints are a little bit suspicious, but I think they're going to hold. Um, let's see if this is, oh, that is half inch. I don't know if this is really going to work well, but let's give it a try. Nice. You know, when this thing spins, this is when you guys always end up with the with the no output right it's a, this thing spins and so you, you you try and tighten it on and then it just spins the wires worse and breaks everything okay so and this solder looks bad did i do that i should be ashamed of myself um i'd like to see if i have super glue in here because I'm, I'm gonna super glue this it's not gonna be great but it's gonna be better than it is i hope in this toolbox. Oh, yeah, here's some right here. Now, is this one open already, or am I going to ruin it by opening it? Probably going to ruin it by opening it, but that's what it's for. open let's see if this tip actually works come on um there's a crack down the middle i could just shove it in there but i'm gonna try and open it up a little bit there we go and just gonna shove it it's not great but hopefully it'll help a little bit and just right here on this edge this one's about to break off that's no good you know this is a, a good case for a metal jack here metal jack would be a lot safer okay hopefully the super glue will work again but i have my doubts I think maybe um maybe I'm gonna try and ride down to the beach. I bought myself a lock. Um, and I mean I can see my bike from the tree. And then I found out that I bought myself the same lock that I had bought before. <laughs> what a dumbass! You know, for somebody who has been so crazy poor so many years of my life, I'm um. That's stupid with money. So I'm screwing this jack and I'm really not sure what's wrong with this guitar. He brought the guitar and said it was uh it was acting up. We're gonna find out what. Um but hopefully tighten these screws down. Getting this jack more in place. Uh, I give it a spray with some guitar or electronics cleaner. I guess I should one of these days. I'm gonna break down and buy some guitar polish and all that stuff. But and I always lose the little red um, draw thingy. And this stuff's kind of hard to get going. If you can, you work it into the pots. I mean, these are semi-sealed pot so it's not necessarily going to work but it actually usually does pretty well yeah in fact i can feel that thing moving better now 
but having a little straw would be a lot better here. Uh, one thing that you usually see is these switches right here, the, the selector switches. They get they get goofy easy. So I'm just gonna really get it in there. Some of these electronics cleaners will completely save for your stuff. Some of them will actually hurt your guitar. It's really important to figure out which is which. If I can clear out my desk just a little bit more, I really have a good spot for working on guitars here. Well, I guess I can see what good that string spreader would do. It would be great for this job right here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll pull it out and use it. But I was trying to figure out what all these things were for in this new guitar toolkit I'd gotten. Um, this could be a lot cleaner. But, uh, Jim, you can do that yourself. All right, so I'll plug this back in. Oh, oh, I'm gonna add plugins here. Yeah, import um, new presets. bundle and I have to f remember that I need to be on the right set of set lists here that's working presets it's current set list it's working presets I'm supposed to have a template and I'm going to bring that I'll deal with that later okay. sorry this is babbling okay so okay, so that's volume for the bridge pickup. That's, okay, so you hear that? Yeah, if I had that little red straw, I bet you I could really get this a lot better. But let's um. Ooh, I was gonna say let's pop open the electronics cavity. That oh, you know what I need to get myself is a. The cordless screw gun too for this. You know, I, I really went and bought some good guitar tools a while back, and and I have them, but now I'm really scared to do any fret work. I'd rather take it to somebody else. I thought I knew what I was doing, but or I thought I would learn. I'm still terrified of frets. Who's uh? Sorry, I can't really get the mouse in the right place. Let's see who's talking. Okay. okay, so that's the um it's electronics pick cavity, so that's it right here. Uh okay. So I don't know if you can see, but inside here, especially if I had that straw, I could easily get the the fluid into there. Well, especially on that switch. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to give it... Let's really exercise these things. And for the switch... Yeah, I need a new can. This thing's just dying. I don't know if I'm getting shocked or it's just so cold. This metal switch is, this metal cavity is just so freezing cold. It's actually like grabbed me. I don't think I'm getting shocked. Okay. Yeah, the handle's really nice to have for some stuff. Screwdriver would be better for other stuff. And do I have a screwdriver real handy right now? Oh, I do. I have my new dealer screwdrivers that I haven't used yet. Let's see. This guy looks like the right suspect. Um, how do I open this? Great. There we go. Okay. And 
if this doesn't have the torque, then I'll use that T handle. Yeah, I'm going to need more torque for this, for this screw, but the other ones went. So next week, I think we're having a show here. First one in a while. You know, I mean, we're doing it every week, but now i got to go up uh, someplace else. I can't really be here for this. Um, get the knobs back on, see what happens. This is actually pretty good shape. I'm not sure what the problem is. It could be cleaned, but uh, you can clean your home guitar. I got, I got stuff to do. I would like to have better guitar cleaning stuff, but and I've got to force myself. You know, I used to I used to be okay with setting up so much stuff, like especially if we were testing out something, I could I could carry so much junk. And nowadays I'm just being so lazy and uh I don't even put my guitars in cases, which I should do, especially now that we have those um push uh push on Floyd Rose bars. Okay. See how this guy's working. And then N M Creation said they just came out with the new um, uh, some kind of new backing track. Where is it? N N M Creation. I really like this channel. Chill. Uh oh. This chill rock metal ballad backing track and eat. Let's see if we can hear it. See what else he has that's newer. Fast metal core, melodious power metal, ethnic metal. Ethnic metal and D Phrygian dominant. I don't know. Ooh, that's weird. Wow. That's a weird 
did like sorry yeah, I gotta do something normal pop punk in D maybe <laughs> I can't think this thing works. Right now, I just switched to the uh, bridge pickup. It looks uh, still kind of retune. Like, do we gonna see a volume now? Okay, let's look at the input here. It's like minus thirty six ish. See how much louder that neck is. So I'm I'm thinking this is the switch. And if it's not the switch, then um, either the pickup's too low, which it might be, or the volume pot. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I had the volume pot wrong. But I think this pickup is too low. I'm going to raise it a little bit. I don't like the angle it's at either, but there's no angle for um, no angle adjuster here. Could shim it. See, that's what I'm not prepared for because you know my guitars. I don't have um, I don't have volume pots, right? I, I it's on a push pull, so I turn it off. Okay, let's check this again. 
Um, let's pick a different one. Backing tracks, backing tracks, backing tracks. 80s heavy metal in D minor. Let's check this out. Loosen this um, tremolo strings a little bit, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> All right, I think this is good. Uh, Jim, I think you just need to clean your guitar. I got uh, none of the electronics are scratching anymore. Everything feels good. Raise the pickup. Um, let's set the intonation. Uh, let's, let's take a look at that actually. So I'm going to go back to the tuner. I'm going to check the uh, 12 string harmonic. 12 string pitch is a little bit high. I can bring this back a little bit. I do have one of those Floyd Rose, the keys. I've never been able to get it to work. Uh, it's supposed to help you with intonation on Floyd Roses. I've, like I said, I've never been able to get it to work. Um, this one doesn't have the Allen wrenches in it. And again, let me steal them off of my guitars. All my guitars, I got Allen wrenches on them. In fact, even on the DSP, I have the, um, this kind of just sticks on there. I'm not really sure it's going to stay. I'm a little bit, a little bit leery of it. But, so, what, what's going to be is this, um, let's see if we can see. Oh, boy. It's going to be quite a uh, hard one to see. There's little screws right here on the bridge, and I'm going to, Loosen that. I'm going to bring it, um, since it's sharp right now. In fact, here we go again. So I play a harmonic. And the pitch note's sharp. So I'm going to bring this back and make the string longer. If it's, if the strings, if it's sharp, make the string longer. And this is really hard to do on the Floyd Rose. Um, there is a tool that actually, let me, let me pull it out. Let me see if I actually have it handy. Test it and see if it actually works. I don't think it works on the original. It doesn't work on one of my specials or something. I forget. I'm not sure I have it here. Oh man, I got all kinds of special tools in here that I haven't seen for a while. An EMG. That's right, it's like an 81 or something. Wait for my little snippers. Yep, here it is, right here. So this device, let's see if this works. It's supposed to go. Where do you put it? Um, forget how this works. There's actually these special screws you can buy for Floyd Roses that will let you do this intonation yourself. Um, let me see. Let's look at the Floyd Rose original real quick. Remember how this works. Oh, 
Oh yeah, okay. So you put it on the fine tuner. May not work on this one, but and then you're gonna it's gonna grab the fine tuner and it's gonna shove the tremolo forward, but I don't think it's really gonna work on this one. Yeah, these Jacksons are made a little different way. Okay, that's not gonna work. That's all right though. So I'm gonna loosen the hell out of this thing so I can pull it back. This is where we're gonna probably break strings now, watch. And so I gotta pull this back. This this uh, saddle's gotta move back. And it's gonna be really hard with the string tight at all. I mean, you really gotta get it loose in order to look. And maybe this is time for me to bust out my electric string winder. And there'll be a pattern where the high E will be the shortest then the B will be a little bit longer, then the G will be a lot longer, and then it'll kind of repeat again on the D string, and then it'll go down from there. So this thing is all kinds of wrong right now. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rough set this, and it's gonna be, I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty close when I'm done. I didn't even check that B, but I can tell by looking at it that it's probably in the wrong place, so. Okay, so let me tune these up. It's exact. You really should have it a little bit low, really, but this one's got to go back further, I think. Well, let's see. Eh. All right, let's see what G looks like. Okay, so that's got to go back. Okay, so I'm going to lock this back down. You can imagine if your tremolo is actually floating while you're doing this, it's even way worse, right? And I don't know if you can see it on this one, but sometimes there's two or three sets of holes for the for the intonation lock screw. And this one's already on the second one back. And then it starts over on the D again. We're going to see where that is in a second here. Okay, so i got to loosen this D too. I was just about to leave too, and I was like, oh, maybe I should. So this might be too far back, but we'll see. Put these both back up. In fact, where did I put that thing? I got to use it. this guy there any ball I've never used this thing before
Okay, G, I like. D might still be a little bit too far forward. Yeah. Oh, that makes this so much easier. Wow. Okay. I might move this onto the other hole. All these are going to go on the second hole then. It might even be a third hole. Some of them have three. Now this shouldn't be, it should have been right where it was. Let's see. see what the low E and A have to say. Okay, we know that's going to be high. It's high too. Interesting that these guys actually went up in pitch. Probably shouldn't have. So for sure, these are going on the other hole. And we're going to see if there's three holes on here, actually. Oh, okay, there's only two holes on this. So you see this kind of pattern um, and you know generally we just get them close I know we should really get them perfect but yeah, the Floyd Rose is a little tricky and every time you pick on the thing it's if it's a floating one you know every time you pick you're wobbling the tremolo around even so it's never I mean you don't want it to sound as out of tune as some of those iconic live shows in the 80s but not gonna get too much better than that. I don't think this is gonna go back any further. I think that's it for that. Let's hope that's enough. Sometimes it's not. There's things you can do. You can grind part of the saddle, or you can. Well, you know, there's some there's some unpleasant things you can do to really make it work, but I want to have to. I got that way too flat.
Wow. Okay. I didn't expect that. I'm going to dump these forward a little bit. <clears throat> Hopefully I can hold this so I don't have to totally loosen the... Oh, shoot. That's too much, probably. Let's see. And again, I'm checking this with the 12th fret harmonic. And then the fretted note at the 12th fret. I don't believe this. Okay, these the position I have this in right now, uh, this should be about right. If your strings are all bent up and old, it'll actually make it so you can't really intonate it correctly. And I think that's what's going on here. I don't want to go any further with this because... I think it needs new strings is the problem. I could change the strings, but I'm not about to right now. But okay, now let's try see how this thing feels tune wise. Um, Ah, really suddenly the same ones, aren't they new? Four years ago. Where's some new backing tracks? How can this be so? Let me put a uh, newer upload date this year. How yeah, about that? Epic heavy rock backing track in D minor. How about that? Does that sound fun? Let's try it. Hard Rock Back and Track B Minor. Tasty, yeah, I saw that one already. Epic Melodic Heavy Rock Back and Track in E Minor. How about that? Solid Melodic Hard Rock Back and Track in E Minor. I'll check that one out next. Oh, looks like it's the same guys. Heavy rock back and track to be my it's the same guy. Come on, I want some I want some new guys. Dramatic hard rock uh but it's I don't know if I like this dopes tracks guys. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't want to see. <laughs> I want to help out the new guys. 
fun, energetic. Uh, see if it's the same thing. Please be different than the other ones you made. Slick guitar, I need it. oil slick guitar here there was a picture of an oil slick guitar i don't know oh it's just a thumbnail i want that oil slick guitar oh see it's right here wow okay well this is working uh jim come pick up your guitar and go ride my bike